appreciate you clicking the video. This is the final weekend. We made it to the final weekend of the Long Beach match play. This is the, I believe, the 92nd Long Beach match play. 92nd year. And that is our friend Andrew Fernandez, who was the top seed in qualifying. And we watched him win in the round of 64, the round of 32, the round of 16. And now we're in the round of eight, or as they call it, the quarterfinal matches. Uh, pretty big deal to get it this far. This is Andrew's opponent, Josh McCollum. Well known around this area for being an extremely long hitter. He is a, a former baseball player who went to Nebraska, I believe, and now has uh, switched full-time to golf. And he's extremely good at it. Let's take a look right now into Andrew's bag because some people were wondering. Andrew won an AJGA tournament not long ago, a couple months ago. And uh, after that, he was called down. He got a call down to the kingdom and he got a full set of new clubs. There you go. Marshals cannot make rulings, but they do have radios and they can call for the rules official if needed. Uh, you're going to be playing from our festival tournament tees like you did last week, the white ones. If you would please now identify the ball you'll be playing uh, today. Alright, quick look at the competitors. This is uh, another match that's in the same group. We won't see much from them, but some uh, I think you guys might be interested to see. The final eight, here is Roy Kim and uh, Kevin Boglovich. I, I'm not saying that right, but uh, nice to see uh, some mid amateurs making it. Fourth match of, to of today from Cerritos, California, Andrew Fernandez. All right, here's Andrew Fernandez. This first hole is a dogleg to the right just a little bit, but it's drivable. Even with three wood, as Andrew's hitting here, it is drivable, and Dr Andrew hits that. His opponent from Upland, California, Josh McCollum. Yeah, Andrew hit that into the greenside bunker. Josh looks like he's laying up because he's got iron here, but it's not necessarily true with Josh. He, he might even have the power to hit an iron. This is 304 yards downhill a little bit so but uh, no I, I think this this legitimately is a layup all right good shot for Josh right down the middle so both guys hit it in the center about where they wanted here's Josh he's got about 35 yards to the hole uh, makes makes just kind of a so-so contact with that and didn't really get it to where he wanted Andrew hit it in the greenside bunker and then hit it pretty thin and well over the green. And he's got quite a bit left. Now he needs to get that up and down for par. Okay, so here's Andrew chipping. That's a birdie if that goes in. No. All right, so Andrew's got a lot left. He's got, that's a good eight or nine feet. Putts do look shorter on video than they actually are. That's the truth. That was for Josh's birdie, and Josh makes a par. He gets a conceded par there, so this is to have the hole. Good putt for Andrew. All right, so moving on to the second hole. The match is still all square. He's shaking his head, thinking this shouldn't be this hard work to be making a par in this hole in this match. Making it hard on himself early. Josh hits a, a hard drive low and to the right. He's in the greenside bunker there. Andrew hit three wood dead straight. You'll notice Andrew hitting a lot of three woods because just the other night getting ready for this match he could not find it. He was uh, hitting range balls over at Skylinks and could not find it with the driver. I think it could have been an equipment issue. Shaft issue or something. So Andrew's got a close putt for birdie, and so does Josh. So here's Josh from about six and a half feet for his birdie. Nice. So good birdie for Josh McCollum on the second hole at Rec Park. This is uphill about 315, 322, something like that. Andrew for his birdie. Andrew's gotten really good at pitching the ball and hitting those kind of shots close. 
All right, so the hole is halved with birdie. The match remains all square. Andrew hits a, uh, a one-handed follow-through, but right down the middle. And here's Josh. Hit that one hard, but tugged on it a little bit. And it's going towards the fence. Look where the, uh, the golf cart is there. So Josh is up against the fence there. And here's Andrew Fernandez from about 120 yards. Pull that one left a little bit. He's been working on his alignment. Now, so here's Josh. He was up against that fence. There's a local rule that you're allowed to have a free drop if you're against that fence, even though it's an out-of-bounds fence. You get a free drop because of how close the card path is. So he drops the ball there. Here's the rules official watching. And hits from this point. So that was a free drop. Hits over the tree and lands the ball within a foot. And that's a conceded birdie for Josh. And the rules official is talking to him, I think, about whether or not he was standing on the card path when he hit that. Because you have to take full relief. And Josh is assuring them, him that, yes, he had to take full relief. But it would be on Andrew to call that on Josh since it's match play. So here's Andrew for his birdie to stay tied. Nice and he does it. So good putt for Andrew. So that's back-to-back -back birdies for both golfers. Going on to the fourth hole. This is uphill. 365, 360 yards. Andrew hit three wood right down the middle. Josh tugged his drive just a little bit, but very long. So here's Andrew from about 105 yards. Two hop and spinning it. That might be even to conceded range for Andrew's third birdie in a row. So here's Josh's approach from about 65 yards after his long drive. So yeah. Here's Josh to make for birdie and really has to make this. This would be his third birdie in a row just to keep pace, just to keep the match all square because Andrew will probably make his. Block that one just out a little bit to the right. And that's it because Andrew's putt was conceded. So Andrew goes one up in the match. Now, we're doing the downhill par three today. This is just 100 and 20 yards, but this is a very difficult part three. Andrew hits this a little long, and he's over the green, and that's in a very bad spot to be past this green. Josh makes a really well-balanced center strike. The ball comes out of the middle of Josh's club face a lot. So here's Andrew with a tight pitch. Kukuyu grass here, very difficult to chip on. If you guys ever watch the tournament at Riviera, same kind of grass, and you see lots of chub chips and things by the, even the tour players. So Andrew d hit it inside this circle that was for a different tournament, but he did not get it stone dead. So he's got to make this for par. No, so Andrew immediately goes from one up to all square if Josh can make this. So this is to get... So Josh had lost the previous hole, so this is to get that back. This is to go all square in the match, and he does it. So that is a solid. Now, here's the hardest. That's a solid putt for Josh. Here's the hardest hole in the golf course, 465 yards. It is harder to make a four on this hole than it is to make it on a four on the par five ninth hole. Josh blocked his drive. He hit it extremely long, but blocked it well out to the right. Andrew hit his right down the middle. He's got a eight iron here. No, seven iron here into the green. But tugged it left into the bunker. So he uh, he's upset about that. So Josh hit his ball so long that he actually has a look because those trees, uh, and he, he puts it right on the green, just past the green. Here's uh, on the fringe. Here's Andrew splashing out, and that's the result. So Andrew's... Hit a good bunker shot. He's got a few, only four feet. And there's Josh. Camera wasn't focused, but Josh makes a long bomb of a birdie. His fourth birdie of the day. And Andrew missed that putt. So now Josh is one up going into the seventh hole. Josh hit a huge drive here, monstrous drive. 
Andrew tug this to the left, but he's okay. Let's zoom forward all the way to the green. So after two shots, here is Andrew. I'm sorry, here's Josh for his birdie. So that's a, that's a, I believe, a conceded par. Actually, no. Andrew's going to make him putt that. Here's Andrew for his birdie. No. And Josh for his par. All right, so Josh remains one up in the match. And let's go to the, the green of the eighth hole. We'll get every single shot on the back nine, but here's the green of the eighth hole. Andrew for birdie, long lag, puts that to within four inches. And here's Josh for his birdie, harsh lip out. Josh remains one up in the match after eight holes, going to the short par five. 514 yards. Josh hit this ball hard. And Josh is just is just getting warmed up here. Some of the if you ever play this course in Long Beach, California, some of the remaining yardages that Josh has are just ridiculous. He hit hit he Josh hit that hard up the right hand side. And Andrew hit his blocked a little far to the right. Hit a tree, mm -hmm. fell down. But uh, scrambled it nicely up around the green. So he'll have a chance for an up and down birdie. There's Josh from only about 100, I, I'm not sure, but I think only about 145 yards. But uh, hit a poor shot out of the right rough there. And hit a, a decent bunker shot, but that is a very difficult putt. The only defense that this hole has as a, par five, as a short par five is this green it's hard to tell but it's extremely slow it's from front to back so and this is not one of the hardest pin locations on this green but if it's a little bit more to the front than this it's very slow so this putt will break that josh has will break left to right quite a bit this is a hard putt and just barely missed it on the low side so that's a five for josh and uh josh probably rarely makes five on this hole he plays here a lot. Okay, so here's Andrew for his four. And this is to square the match. This is to be all square after nine holes. Andrew has been so good from that distance. So that's really been the key to him advancing through these matches is from eight feet and in, if we had the stats on how many he's made from eight feet and in, it'd be something like, 53 out of 55 or something like that. It's a ridiculous how many he's made. That drive you just saw Josh hit was absolutely the longest drive I've ever seen on this hole. And, so let's watch the, the slow motion of it. And it was slightly into the wind. He, a little bit. It was hurting a little bit. So he takes it up over this tree. Huge backswing. I like that bent left arm. And just absolutely kills it. He's putting everything into it. So you can see... Uh, Andrew hit three wood, but you can see Josh is all the way down at the bottom of the hill, 65 yards out. And uh, so that was about a 365 drive for Josh. Andrew hit his just straight down the middle, probably like a 290 yard three wood. And Josh just hit a fat 60 degree wedge and uh, lets the club go a little bit there. So not happy with that so he just barely on the green with a monster lag putt after being totally in perfect position off the t off the uh t so there there's josh for his par right there and here's andrew for his birdie to go one up in the match if he makes this it's that very definite stopping point of andrews something you notice with a lot of really good putters they don't have a real sloppy finish you know it's a very definite stopping point all right so the match remains all square. Going into the 11th hole, they both hit good drives. I had a bad angle of their drive, so I didn't um, didn't include in the cut. But Josh hit a huge drive and then a very good, I, I believe that's a lob wedge. That is the toughest pin location on this green. It actually, from the middle of the green backwards, it, it, it slopes away from you. So Josh will have that remaining for his par the match is all square at the moment. Here's Andrew for his birdie. 
and ran it on just a, quite a bit. You can see how that ball just pulls down there. Both of those guys ended up making those putts, and they both birdied the 12th hole. So now we're on the 13th hole. The match is all square right now. That's Andrew's drive. Uh, so he hit it perfectly pin high. This is like 315 yard par four. And there's Josh chipping from the other the other side, and he hit the stick, and ran out to about 13 feet here. So Andrew has an open door here for an opportunity. Lands it. That usually any kind of ball that you land in this Kukuya should stop, but it didn't stop at all. It ran on quite a bit. So there's Josh for his birdie, and he misses his birdie. So the door's open for Andrew to make this putt for birdie. And this will be for his second birdie in a row. And this is to go one up in the match. There's Justin Collins, Josh's caddy for the day. Justin and Josh, I think, are both going to Chico State to play golf next year. Nice. So Andrew goes one up in the match after 13 holes. So this hole, Andrew has driver, which is a risky play for him because in the life of this tournament, even though Andrew's been playing very well, he snap hooked it out of bounds on this hole, I think three times. But that one is just in the left rough, a little slap on the back there from his caddy. Uh, now, the, the monster drive that Josh hit on 10 was big, but this, this drive here on 14 was absolutely huge as well. Here's Andrew. That looks great. His second shot, That's yeah, cool. looks great. It was a really good shot. Just short of the green. So he has that up and down for his birdie. And Josh, I didn't get the shot of it, but Josh... Uh, that's a poor chip for Andrew. Really uh, got grabbed. That's that shot I was telling you. You see at Riviera a lot. And even Pebble Beach. Just a, kind of a flubbed one a little bit. Here's Josh for Eagle. He had a really good iron shot that landed like a foot from the hole. Rolled out to this point. So here's Josh for his Eagle. Put a bit of a charge into it. And it's breaking back towards the dog park a little bit. So he's got a lot more work left than he would have thought for his birdie. Andrew for his birdie, not close. So Andrew's one up in the match here and here's Josh for, had a close opportunity for Eagle so this will be for Josh's birdie and to go all square in the match. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hard to tell just on video, but the uh, the tension in this match and these matches in general is extremely high. The pressure that these players are under is the human body is only capable of processing so much pressure, and it's basically to these guys just as much pressure as if they were playing in the Ryder Cup or something else. Andrew hit his drive pin high, another drivable par four. One of the things that makes this such an interesting course for match play, not so much for if you were having like a stroke play tournament here, but for match play, this is a great course because there's lots of risk and lots of reward out here with all the out of bounds that you could possibly hit in and then all the, the greens that you could drive and birdies you can make. So Andrew did not hit the world's best chip and Josh hit a very, very good chip there. So here's Andrew for birdie. So Andrew is one up in the match right now. Standing here on the 15th hole. Clutch birdie putt there. And that was absolutely huge. And here is his opponent, Josh, to stay just one down. And he makes it. So really good result there for Andrew and Josh to both make birdie there with three shots on a 320 some yard hole. So Andrew hit a really good uh, 145 yard par three up the hill, quite a bit uphill, into the wind. Andrew hit it to about 20 feet. Josh with great bounce there, hits it to only about nine feet. 
So here is Andrew putting for his birdie. Just barely misses. I will let you know that in the course of this round, both players shot well into the 60s on their own card. And there were 14 birdies between the both of them. So the level of play in these matches has gotten better and better. Now that we're out near the parking lot, quite a few people started to, to come around. Andrew is one up in the match at this point. And the, uh, the worst thing happens. The thing that Andrew was, the reason he was hitting three woods so often, but he started to get some more confidence in almost driving the hole two holes ago. Andrew hit it left near the bamboo. It's looking like it might be lost, and Josh hit his powerfully down the right-hand side. Here's Andrew. He is actually on the 11th tee box here, and he has no look at the hole. He also has no look even back at the fairway of the 17th hole, the hole that he's supposed to be playing. Then he pulls driver out, and we're wondering if he's going to try to hit some kind of hero off the driver off the deck cut shot to maybe try to get on the green but um maybe should be playing this up the 11th fairway and then wedging it in there, but he, there. yeah he's talking to his caddy he's trying to get a good line made not awesome contact with that and i don't think hit it really where he wanted Josh, meanwhile, is up near the green, and here's Andrew. He actually has kind of a look at a punch shot up this hill, but the grass around these greens, even though it's not very long, it's very, very kind of crisscrossed and grabby, and you just it's very hard to run it up. So that'll be Andrew for his par. And here's Josh for his eagle. Josh doesn't quite get it all the way there, so... Here's Andrew for his part. No. So that's a bogey. So that's a, a conceded for Josh. So that's a, another birdie for Josh. The match is all square going down the 18th hole. The wind is, is blowing. This is like 440. Josh kills this ball. Low and dead straight. Kind of looks like he's holding off a hook a little bit, but whatever it was, it went so straight. It killed it. This drive by Andrew with his three wood just as impressive to me it uh, dead straight very you know very good trajectory and has about 105 yards to this front pin location he's telling it to get down and it did a little bit he was fairly happy with that here's josh dipped on it just a little bit and hit that fat not happy with that result at all yeah, not a uh, not really good contact. Didn't make the green. Putting for birdie and gave it a good run. Perfect weight. Surprisingly, that's conceded. So here's Andrew for his birdie. This is to win the match. Yes! Yes! Here's Andrew's dad uh, cheering and all right. So Andrew wins and goes to the final four in the Long Beach match play. Great playing by both guys. A lot of birdies. Uh, in the other match, Roy Kim there in the yellow shirt went through to win. And congratulations all around for Andrew making it to the final four. These guys who are shaking his hand and uh, congratulating him have all been watching him play golf since he was in elementary school, literally. Here is a uh, the assistant coach to the Wilson High School team who's been uh, with Andrew for a long time. So... Really great scene out there, and there's Andrew's college coach at Cal State Dominguez Hills. Moving on to the round of four, the semifinals. He did it. He's going to be playing his good friend Johnny Saunders in the next match, which also was captured on Be Better Golf. So be sure to subscribe, and you guys can see that. I hope you like this series. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions for Andrew, Put them in the comments below. I know he reads the comments, and uh, especially if you're a junior golfer, if you're wondering, you know, 
different things to do to, to get good at golf as a junior golfer or going into college golf. Be happy to answer it for you in the comment section below. Guys, thanks for watching everybody. Click like and click subscribe. See you later.